So they say you are 27 pounds? No, I agree. I told you I did before. I saw that they say it tomorrow. Okay? Okay. She's 37 That's inches tall. Really like that 37 baby. inches tall. Nope, I told you. See? I still say fun. My sweet. Hi you guys, how you doing? Just got back from Chunky's um, three year appointment. It went very well, you guys. She wasn't scared at all. Matter of fact, she wanted to get a shot, but it's not time for her to get a shot. I don't know what's her obsession with shots. Honestly, I think that she done forgot what a shot feel like and she can't remember that it hurts because she always asks for shots. Anyways, um, they weighed her and she weighs 27 pounds, you guys. Like, my baby is little. They say that her, her weight is where it's supposed to be at, but, you know, compared to her cousins and stuff that's the same age, they are huge. So I guess they're considered overweight because they're like really, really thick and big. Like her one-year-old cousin is almost 40 pounds. So it's, they say her weight is where it's supposed to be. So I'm not tripping. They asked me uh, how much she eats. And I told them, you know, she, for dinner, she eats like four plates. And she still wants more, but, you know, I make her stop at four place because, you know, I don't want her food to come back up, you know. Because after she eats, she likes to jump up and down and run around and everything. So, uh, they was like, okay, that's fine. As long as she's being fed. I was like, oh, yeah, we feed her. She eats, you know, she eats breakfast. She eats lunch. She eats snacks. And matter of fact, here lately she's been wanting to eat more you know she her appetite has really grown she will like normally she'll get two snacks a day but now she wants a snack every few hours so she I believe she's gonna go through a growth spurt because she is wanting more and then they took her height and she's 37 inches and um, they say she is tall, she's long, and, you know, it, it's crazy because when they did her, her height, it, you know, it came up. She's average height, but they said she do look long. And the, the nurse was like, she, uh, the nurse thought she was younger than three. And I was like, no. You know, she, she's three. And then it's like, she looks like she's about two or one. Like, to me, she do look small. Like, when I when I look at her and I compare her to her friends and her cousins, she do look small. She's skinnier. But as far as the height, she they're all about the same height. You know, they're all about the same height. But as thickness, like her cousins, her... Her female cousins, they are thick, you know. And the the male cousins, they they're not as thick, but the female cousins, the three year olds and the two year olds, honey, they are thicker than thick. So, you know, for for the longest, <laughs> ever since she was one, I was like, man, I can't wait till she get to thirty pounds. But it's taking my child forever to get to thirty pounds. You know why? Cause she don't. 
she's she don't be still you guys she's always moving around she always up jumping and dancing she loves to dance and she just doesn't hold still long enough to let that food sit settle on her and make her thick or whatever but um you know i can understand that she she gets that from her dad and myself like I'm always dancing and moving and whatnot, so that's why it, you know, that's why I, it's hard for me to uh, pick up weight, you know. But um, they said for her constipation, because I told them how she, she poops like every three days or whatever, and they said for that. They said because she is holding it in, because that's what she do. When it's time for her to go poop, she'll go to the pot, but she'll sit there and she'll tee tee, but she won't poop it out. So they said that's uh that's what's causing her constipation. Um, they said to continue to give her the prune juice, you guys. She loves prune juice. You know that prune juice that comes in the uh that bottle about that big that I be getting from Dollar Tree, she loves it. And apple juice, she drinks apple juice, not that much, but she drinks apple juice. She mainly drinks water. She drinks a lot of water. Like when she says that she's thirsty, she goes for the water before she goes for the juice. So, uh, you know, he said to continue to give her uh, apple juice and cream juice and uh the we just started her on pediasure is it pediasure yeah we just started her on pediasure and that pediasure is helping a lot it is and um he was like we can we can continue to give her the pediasure and she really likes the pediasure we get the uh pediasure in the chocolate flavor because she loves chocolate milk so you know we get it in the chocolate kind she'll be like can I have some chocolate milk she don't say give me pure shit she says can I have chocolate milk and that's what we give her and it, it do help her to stay regular and he said also start her on some um, Merlex is that how he said Merlex start her on that um, he said give it to her every day so I have to go buy some of that and try that out on her. He said it'll make her to poop easier and so that her poop won't be so hard, you know. So I'm gonna try that out, see how that works for her. Um guys, they said everything was good. He was like uh everything that they was telling her to do like the lay down and everything she was real calm because you know most times babies when you tell them to lay down honey they holler because they think they finna they don't know what's finna happen they think they finna get shot they they just don't know what's finna happen so most of the time like they'll holler or something but she didn't do that she was real calm and uh she was talking to the doctor she talked to the doctor she was like hey hi and she, like whenever he did stuff to her, she was like, thank you. Even when the nurse was doing stuff to her, she was like, thank you. And they they were saying that they like her behavior. They was like, she's very polite. And it was like, she has a uh, good energy. And they like that, you know, cause some kids uh, don't say anything. They're like real quiet or whatever. And the only time she was quiet is when, when they had finished and everything. And uh, they was doing her reflexes. You know, they put her at the edge of the table and check to see if her, you know, her leg will do, you know how they do it, check your knees, whatever. So they, you know, do the little knee thing. That's the only time she acquired uh, The rest of her, she, she would talk. Your ear off and she was just talking to the doctor, you know, telling the doctor, you know, that she's going to get shot. And the doctor was like, no, you're not finna get a shot. You don't need a shot. You're not not yet. So the next time she will get a shot, uh, I believe he said is when she turned four. He said, um, yeah, when she turned four, 
she will get a shot and I do not look forward to that I don't like um I don't like my baby getting shots even though she don't mind shots I mind them but I know that she has to get them to ask uh did I want her to get a flu shot no I don't want her to get no flu shot um I just only shots I want her to get is the shots that she has to get she don't have to get a flu shot um what else do they check you know they check her ears her ears is real good um you know because I do clean her ears you guys Tell me, what do you clean your child ears out with? Because I use those um, those toddler. They look like Q-tips, but they they don't go deep in your ear. It has a little safety thing on there. You know the ones I be getting from Dollar Tree. They don't go all the way in the ear. They just the tip of it goes in the ear. So that's why I used to clean her ears. So y'all let me know what y'all used to clean your your child's ear like, and I take the towel and you know wipe around her ear inside her ear with the towel and all that and that's how I clean her ears um she wants me to use the the ear exfoliate on her but I don't because I don't feel like she needs to have the inside of her ears exfoliated at this young you know what I'm saying maybe when she gets a little older so yeah, that is how her appointment went. She um, was well behaved. I'm very proud of her. She did not cry. She didn't scream. She didn't smack nobody because yeah, when she was a baby, and I used to lay her down on that bed. When I tell you, she used to, baby, she used to flip them nurses off of her and they're like, oh my goodness, she's so strong. I was like, yes. And that's when she was a baby, you guys. She has always been a super strong child, you guys. I'm trying to tell you. She is super strong. She can lift and move really heavy things. So they would have to always call for backup. So two nurses or have to hold her down and the doctor will hold her down. Or either a nurse, my husband, and the doctor. I I couldn't, y'all, I couldn't I can't hold my child down. That just whew, that do something to my heart. I can't do that. But yeah, you guys, that is her three-year checkup. Um, I thank you guys for watching and listening. And I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.